lot guys welcome back to the channel today I'm going to do a simple little project uh, I had this 1970 uh, Volkswagen Beetle convertible uh, it's part of the uh, I guess about three weeks ago um, uh, I bought a couple of Volkswagen from a guy uh, but pretty much I've just been buying them just uh, fixing them up and then just sell them uh, just, you know just trying to get them back on the road and stuff like that but one of the things with this Beetle is it was painted at one time and the interior isn't the best the seat tracks are in great shape but the door panels and the carpet and all that stuff was just really crappy shape uh, so I thought it'd be worth my investment to um, actually get brand new carpet for the entire the uh, the entire bug, and then get brand new door cards for the doors and the um, the uh, the passenger side the, the rear part. Uh, so today um, I took this, the seats already out of it. So what I'm going to do today I'm going to go in there. I'm going to do rip out all the door cards. Uh, I'm going to rip out the carpet that's in there. I'm going to vacuum it all up, clean it up really good, and I'm going to install a new carpet and new door cards. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me. All right, first thing I'm going to do is uh, the driver's side don't even have a door card on it, so I just went ahead and just went to the left side. Uh, there's not too much in these little bugs. There's one little screw here and one little screw there, and that's it. So first of all, you got to get this little... Okay, and of course, it's a flathead. So these little things, it's a little plastic piece that kind of pops out, and, and then you can get on there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously you wouldn't do this as the penny you're going to keep, but I'm going to get a brand new anyway, so. You can see, see how bad it was. You can tell it's probably been trying to be patched one time. It, to me, it just wasn't worth keeping at all. So, I think it's just the best way. And also, what I'm doing this is, um, there's these little rubber plugs that go around here. So it's like a rubber plug, and then there's like these little bitty clip things. I don't know if you guys can see. It's just a little clip, and those will actually slide into the uh, the panel of the door, and then they go into the rubber, and they kind of like they just hold itself in place. Um, I went ahead and ordered brand new rubber uh, little. Um, I don't know what you call it. I guess they're like grommets type things. But I got brand new uh, for the entire door and everything and also new uh, brand new metal clips. So it's, it's just easier and better to do that because uh, these are real brittle and stuff like that. So it's just better just put new ones in it. So I'm just going to rip them all out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all, I'm going to clean up all the doors, all the little rubber grommets and all the clips in the entire door. I'm actually going to do the doors last. So I'm going to um, put the carpet in and everything else and then I'm gonna come back into the, uh, the doors I think it's just a I'm just worried. I won't I won't hit them and stuff like that So there's just gonna be the last piece, but right now I'm gonna clean everything up So I'm not constantly just making a mess just make one big mess clean the doors Come in here rip the entire carpet out clean everything up and then from then on I should be good to go I shouldn't have to be cleaned up or constantly making a mess on top of something I'm already doing So uh, let's just do this portion. We'll just go around the whole car and do it this is kind of the same way. Um, all you have is the little uh, wiper, not the wiper, the windshield uh, for the window to come up. And um, I'm just gonna rip mine out like that. But you could tell they were just, they, 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 at one point in life, they suffered a lot of water damage and stuff like that. Um, they weren't bad, but they're not, they're not really expensive to replace. So to me, it's just worth it just to replace them. All right, so I did it. all the doors and all these rear panels. I got all that stuff in. Um, so let me go grab my vacuum cleaner, and I'm going to rip out all the carpet, and I'm going to vacuum the entire floor pan up, and then I'm going to open up the carpet. I haven't even opened them out of the box. There's, uh, I got them from CIP1, which is that's just a distributor, I guess. Uh, but TMI is actually the maker of the carpet kit. Uh, it's still brand new the box, and um, so I don't even know what it looks like. So I'm going to open it up with you guys. But uh, let's grab the vacuum cleaner and get the rest of this gone. It's starting to rain on me a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit of noise. All right, this is the uh, the carpet kit. I got some other things. Those are the, the, the rubber grommets for the door panels. Um, I got four... 
uh, window roller uppers, uh, one for the door and then two for the uh, the rear window. And I got the new um, cover that goes around the door handle on the front door. Uh, but this is the carpet kit, so uh, let's open this thing up and see what it's actually going to look like. And I don't know if this is the front or not. I can't remember. So this is for the front trunk. I'm going to do that one. Tell them back. But what I want is this is the one. Because I've never done this before. Is I'm gonna just throw it in the bug real quick and just see where I can kind of piece together. Hey, I can't do it y'all in the way. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is I didn't realize this, but you have to cut the holes for the gear shifter and the emergency brake. Um, so I'm gonna try to just do the littlest hole I could probably can. I'm probably going to take this off, take this off, this off, and um, just do it um, a little bit whole, and then I'll put all of it back on there. So let me take that off and go from there. Okay, well I got this portion in, this is the front mat, um, but one of the things is, one, I've never done this before, so uh, bear with me and hopefully you do what I don't do if I do anything wrong. But anyways, um, now that I've, I've laid the pieces out and kind of looked at it, um, the first pieces you probably want to do is the front, the, the, the whole front part and the sides. The last pieces you want to do is this bottom front where the pedals are and the back that goes underneath the seat. And the reason is for that is because all the, the carpet, they kind of overlap each other and stuff like that. And um, the front pieces and the side pieces that go along this heater channel on both sides, those go down first and these actually lay over on top of everything else. Um, but I already had this installed, which is not that big of a deal because um, I can just kind of roll it up and just kind of keep it over here. Uh, not that big of a deal at all. It's just if I had to redo this all over again, that's what I would do. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to roll over this, roll over this, and the piece I'm going to put in, I'm going to put that very front piece in first. I'm going to put the the, the two side pieces in right here, um, and then I'm going to do these edges right here, and then I'll just unroll this back out. And then the only thing I do is those last piece right here. So uh, yeah, let me get let me get the uh, I have some headliner uh, carpet adhesive because you got to stick it on here. There's no screws or anything like that, so you're going to have to spray it on there and it sticks on there so um it might be a little fun but i guess here we go all right so here we are so let me roll all this back i'm just gonna roll it over nice and neat this side's got a little thing on here so it might be a little a little, little funner to do but i'm just gonna roll that back um, i'm gonna kind of roll everything back that i can just kind of get it out of its way like i said Next time, do this second, but it's what it is. It's fine. So, this is it's kind of a weird piece that goes in here, um, but this is the piece you're going to want to put on first. At least I think. I don't know. I'm sure some of you guys that started carpet for a living are going to be like screaming at me, but hey, oh well. So, I'm going to pre fit it in here. The best I can.
Put that right there. And right here. Kind of a little reference point right here where it follows this, um, what do you want to call it? The, the tunnel in the middle. So that's going to give me kind of reference points because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. I'm going to spray the adhesive on the back and then I'm going to end up putting it back in there. So it might be a little fun, but let's do that. And this stuff right here, um, it's heavy duty headliner and carpet adhesive. Um, this is what I'm going to use to uh, do the floor. So all I want to do is just lay the carpet down and I'm just going to lay a nice thick coat on it and I want to see how well the stuff sticks. I don't know. Uh, I've had this for a little while, so I don't know. But let's spray this on the back of the carpet and get it stuck up there and pray I don't mess this up. <sighs> I think I changed my mind. Um, I think I'm going to spray it on there and then put the carpet on there. Let's go with that. I'm just kind of smashing it on there. But I had to, there's like a little bump right here, so I just did two little cuts in it to kind of relieve the, the, the stress of going around those little humps. Like that. I think that's gonna be it. Looks pretty good. So then I'm just going to continue on and go around the other side, uh, find the, uh, the piece that goes there, and uh, let's do that. Uh, always, always test fit and make sure you're doing the right spot because because some of these pieces is kind of it's kind of hard to tell right off the like just instantly which piece goes where. So, I highly recommend just kind of test fitting it real quick. Okay, so I got this other piece in there. This is the uh, the driver's side right here. And like I said, I'm gonna have to spray it and it's gonna stick all up in here. But out here at the, uh, the, the, the door seam, there's actually like this little pinch thing. Um, and the carpet is gonna go in there. Um, they're gonna kind of shove it in there. And then you can use this pinch weld to kind of clamp the carpet on it. So what I want to do is I'm going to go, um, I want to get something to kind of wedge it out just a little bit. And I'm not really going to manipulate it, but just enough where I can just stick the carpet in there, glue it in there. And then I'll come back with a mallet and then uh, just kind of tap it in and then it'll clamp that carpet. So let me get something to pull this entire, um, it goes down the entire side of the door. Um, so let me get something to do that. I'm not sure what I'm going to use right at the second, but... I'm sure my toolbox will tell me something. Okay, I think this is where right. I had just a little pry bar. So, I'm just gonna lift it up just a little bit. Like I said, I'm just lifting it up a little bit and I should be able to, I should be able to get this carpet and kind of wedge it in there. Okay, so now I can get that one piece in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray the entire thing and then go from there. And if you're wondering about this cutout is, um, I can always come back and cut that out. So don't worry about that. I'm going to just spray over the whole thing. Um, and then I can come back and do that if, if I, if I wanted to or whatever. Um, a lot of this is like the, the sides right here is for the heat or whatever. Um, so a lot of people I know, especially here in Texas, don't even run heat. So that's one of the things you can buy the new cupboard. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to probably take this little cover off. And then I'm just going to carpet over it and you won't even notice it's there. And, but if you want to get the heat in this car or anything like that, all you got to do is come here and just cut that little area out by a new cover and, and you're golden. So that's what I want to do with that. If you're wondering what the holes are for. I'm just kind of visually looking and then I'm going to get my sprayer. 
and get ready for that. Yeah, I think it came out actually really good. Um, that stuff sticks really good, actually. Like, I mean, it, you have a little bit of play time, so it's not like one of the things, it's not like super glue, you know, where you got like five seconds to do it all. So you can manipulate a little bit on there. Um, but no, I really like that the way it is. So I'm just going to continue on. I'm going to test fit it, make sure I, I like it, make sure this pink well is all good, and then I'll just keep on going, and eventually I guess we'll be done. So here's the piece for this uh, right here. Um, again, it goes in that little pinch weld portion. Um, and this piece, I'm actually probably gonna, I think, I think I'm good either way. Is, Cause it starts down here at this end right here and it goes this way and it goes all the way down and it butts up with that other piece right there. But it's buttoned up really nicely right there. So I think I'm just gonna be fine with that. So let me get that weld, uh, pinch weld done. Not pinch weld, the, Whatever that thing is, that, I don't know what you want to call it, but it just holds the carpet down. I'm going to get my little screwdriver and just kind of shove that carpet in there. I think it's too easy on this piece because I, I need a glue on the bottom. It may be easier to put it on the pinch weld, smash it in so it doesn't go that, and then kind of pull it back and then spray and then lay it down. So I think I'm gonna try that technique this time. Man, because there's a lot of carpet that goes in this pink weld. And it might be fun to try to do it all while it's sticky. Okay, so it's nice. It's real nice in that little pink weld. See, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go get the mallet. I'm gonna tap it all down Flip it up, spray it, and lay it back there. I think that's gonna be a really nice option to do. Yeah. You're not wanting to like beat the crap out of the thing, but you just. Worked out pretty good. I am gonna do a little bit of training right here because this, this, the way this seat is right here, there's no way it's going to have to go down, so I'm going to have to cut it just a little bit. Test fit that. I'm going to go in there like that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm glad I test fit that because that would have been ugly if I didn't. Uh, back here, it's a little off as well but honestly i don't think that's going to make a difference i don't think it is yeah i don't see that being an issue so i'll peel all this back That's looking really good. Really, really good. I'm liking it. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this piece back over the. Alright, let's switch to the other side and do that.
last piece is the piece that goes underneath the, the, the floor or underneath the seats and it goes back to the battery tray. Um, so let me get that piece out. I'm just gonna, you know, temporarily put it on there and see what it's gonna kind of look like. All right, here we are. This is the back piece. And it's gonna go along here. I got this in here. It's gonna fit all good. The biggest problem is, is I have to cut the emergency brake out. And that's gonna be fun. Like, not at all, because it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly you gotta cut. So, I really don't know. I really do not know. I want to put this in the right spot. that I think I'm just gonna do a slit a slit right here and then I'll slowly trim away because then once I get a slit I can slide it in there and then I can do that so I think that's what I'm gonna do Okay, now since we're done with the carpet, what I'm going to do is um, I got the old door cards here, and I need to take the uh, what do you call it, the armrest and the pull strap off of it. It's pretty simple, just on the back side. There's just uh, two little bolts. They just slide right off. So I have this side and this side. I'm going to go ahead and clean them real quick. Uh, the holes are already um, on the door cards themselves. I just gotta get a little screwdriver and just poke the back of them and then stick them through and then uh, we do that. So, but this is a good time to clean them because uh, they're, they're in good shape, but it's just, you know, might as well clean them while we're here. Like I said, on the back side, there's already two holes there for it. I wanna make sure that those are the right holes because that would really suck if they're not. <laughs> they're already like pre cut out, so I think all I can do is just. Kind of do that. Do that. And there's one. Lay down to the side. I'm gonna go grab the other one. And that's it. The next biggest thing is, is all these little holes. I gotta put these little metal clips in. Um, so let's go ahead and put all the metal clips on both these doors, lean them up, and then we got to put all the rubber little uh, circles in the door, and then I got to come back, and then it all it should all go down together. So let's get those metal clips. I don't know if you can see these clips, but it's just like a little, so it's just like a little clip. Um, but they, you got to put them in there, and they they just kind of sandwich on there.
these little tabs in there. So I'm gonna lay this one to the side and do the other one. So you're going to want to you're going to want to have your wiper um, thing off um, before you do this and this you, it'll slide through there but I have all these little rubber things and they're just like little things so you need to push and every single one of them you need one of these Okay, so go around, make sure you do every single one of them. Make sure they're all in there. And this is where the fun part is, is for those little tabs, they're all, when you put those little metal tabs in there, they're all adjustable, every single one of them. So this could be really fun. But I think the only thing I can do is go on the bottom. Just some of them. Kind of look down the side, see if you can. Some of them are a little stubborn. I'm gonna grab the uh, the windshield wi uh, wiper and the little cover for that, and that should finish it up. I was hoping these would come with new screws, but nope, they don't. And this is the time where if you want the doors to be all the way up, I think, which way do they go? You want it to be all the way up. Roll your windows all the way up so then you get the same placement. <clears throat> Apparently the screws I got are not the right ones.
I have to find me some screws to go there. There you go. That cleans the door really nice. I'm gonna have to get the screws for those. Um, and you'd think they'd put them in there, but I don't know. But I, I bought mine. Some of them had screws and some of them didn't. So, yeah, I didn't know. That's easy enough though. Huh? Right, let's do the uh, driver's side door. Get that one done. All right, that's it. I think the last thing we'll do is we're gonna do the uh, the rear panels. Uh, the same procedure. Um, of course, they don't have this or this. They have, they do have one of those, but it shouldn't be too hard. So let's do the rear ones. Put it in the car. This is the driver's side, so yeah. I'm not gonna have enough of these little rubber things. I may have to go look in my little parts bin when I built uh, my bus and see if I got some. I have one of those little, uh, called a green machine, machine, um, cleaner. And I think while it's out, it's just so much easier to do it. So I'm just going to clean them up because they were sit, this car sit inside of a barn for good grief forever. So it's just got dust and stuff on it. So while they're out, it's just really easy to do like that. I think it'd really help. My crazy dog. Okay, got the seat. The seats are, man, they look so much better. They just were dusty and stuff like that. Uh, so I got both the seats in it, and then I can't remember if I got this one. I, I, I actually cleaned that one too. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw the battery back in there uh, just because the seat's off of it. It's just uh, something to do. So let me throw the battery in there, and then I'm going to put the bottom seat in, um, and then I'm going to put two front two, and then I went ahead and ordered the, um, the rubber things that. I need like 15 more of them, but you have to buy a pack of 50. I don't know. I don't know why they don't come in a pack of 65, but whatever. That's what it is. And then I'll get those two panels on. But I want to put the seats in it, and uh, it really should see how this thing's going to look. Because it already looks a whole lot better. But let's throw the seats in and see what it looks like. Seat in. See if I can get this seat in here on the first time. Sometimes they're 
a little fun to put in, but oh. I think this is actually the it is. It's the packer seat. <laughs> The reason it is, is there's the, the lever on the side. It goes towards the outside of the vehicle. Yep. I think it looks a whole lot better than what it used to. I'm gonna clean the um, entire interior out. And then, um, I think I'm just gonna clean it all up and then I'm gonna list it up for uh, for sale. Uh, but I really just wanted to make it look a little nicer to look at, uh, make it a little, a little more turnkey for say for somebody. Uh, but I think it turned out to be a really, really good bug. All right, we're back on the car. I just, uh, I got the, um, the clips I needed for the back, uh, panels here. Um, but those are pretty easy to put back in. Uh, they're just like the doors. Actually, a lot easier than doors because there's only like five clips. I just put those on and I put the, the door handles back on it and that's pretty much all I did. Um, I put the seats in it. Uh, did all that and then I washed the car. Um, uh, so it wasn't nothing crazy. I guess you could watch me wash the car, but. I didn't film that portion, uh, but I just want to give you the, the, the end result. Oh, I don't know why I closed the door, but uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it just looks so much better now. The car just, it just looks so much better. Um, but anyways, um, I did all this and I posted the car up and it actually sold yesterday. So uh, the gentleman is going to be coming here in a little while and uh, he's going to come pick it up. Um, but that's fine. That was my, uh, my, uh, that was my goal. Um, I just wanted to spend a little bit of money on it, making it look a whole lot better because I knew it'd help it sell and then obviously, it, um, help it sell and get a little, little bit more money out of it. So I think it was well, uh, well worth the money, uh, to do the uh, new interior like that. And it was pretty simple to do. So, um, I'm glad I did it, but I just wanted to show you the car one last time. It's actually a really cool car. I, I, it's a pretty good bug. It's not perfect by any means. The, the deck lid actually didn't, the, the previous person didn't clear coat it. So it's got like a dull finish. And I think the red might be ever so slightly off. Um, but the, the new owner, he, he was he was okay with all that. Um, he came and looked at it. That's like that. But this is it. So she's gonna go to a new home. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. The, the gentleman is actually uh, that bought the car. He bought it for his wife's birthday, so she should be pretty shocked uh, to have this because apparently she's always wanted one of these cars. Uh, so hopefully she'll have a good birthday. But then I get to start working on the thing. Well, that's going to be uh, cool. Now, now the bug is out of my hair and gone. Now I can ship my uh, ship my shift my focus to the thing. All right, that's going to be it. I hope this video helped you guys out. I never installed a carpet kit in a bug, or actually I never installed carpet, period. Uh, but the Beatles, obviously they're a pretty easy car. Um, hopefully this will help somebody out there uh, learn from my mistakes. Let's say I think the only mistake I did is do the, the front, the sides, all that first, and then do the center sections. I think that's about the only thing I would have do different. 
Um, but other than that, um, I, I think it was pretty easy. Anybody can do it, and hopefully it'll help you guys out. But I do appreciate you guys um, tuning in today. And if you can, please like, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build up. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a little bigger and bigger, but uh, I, I do appreciate um, you guys uh, like and subscribe. But uh, more importantly, I, I like uh, when you guys comment. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I try to answer any question I possibly can. Uh, I actually, I think that's the most enjoyable part of actually having my channel is I actually get to help somebody um, and vice versa. Sometimes you guys will help me as well if I have an issue. Um, I do appreciate it, guys. Until then, y'all have a good one.